Good morning ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, it's your top skipper here, Baza B. Are you ready for another week's episode? I certainly am. Is it Lindsay B? She blooming better be. <laughs> right, come on guys, let's get on with the show. Now in last week's video guys, you can tell I was having a bad week. <laughs> um, this week, let's hope it's not as bad. For me it's only a couple of days, but for you guys it's a whole week. Now we got to the stage that we were actually waiting on parts coming for the pumps, which have arrived. However, by the grace of God, we have got a small weather window. So I'm afraid everything has to be dropped for the pumps and we need to get on with fiberglassing. So that's what we're going to be getting on with today. We're going to get on with the diesel tank and we're going to get on with um, the, where the transducer is going to go as well. So let's get it on. Now guys, before I actually go on and discuss what I was doing with the diesel tank before, i.e. Uh, our thoughts and processes of where we were going to actually put the tank, uh, I had actually forgot my basic, basic stability rule. Always lay it down the centre of the keel and always lay a minimum out for the edge. Now, uh, when I first had the idea of what we were going to do, was put the diesel tank broadside on like that. Excuse me, I'll show you. And all that you are probably wondering, nothing wrong with that, Baz. However, Mr. Whiteboard and I will discuss. So guys, what principle are we talking about when we're talking about laying along the keel and trying to keep our centre of gravity rather low? Well, it's all to do with one factor and one factor only and that's free surface effect. Now what is free surface effect? I hear you all cry. Yeah, I thought that's what I heard you cry. Uh, it's basically when water or fluids on a vessel has the free movement of the boat itself. Now obviously, uh, a boat is longer than it is wider, so if you have your liquids widthways going from side to side in a choppy sea, that actually helps with the momentum of the actual free fluid to maybe even capsize your vessel. Now obviously that's a dangerous thing and the only way to do that is by putting either boards or baffles in between where the liquid is moving from. So it reduces the size of the, um, and the momentum of the liquid itself. Mr. Whiteboard will show you what I mean. So guys, the best way we're going to build uh, the Lindsay B is by keeping our centre of gravity centre line of the boat and obviously as low as possible as we can get. Now I'm not going to go into too much detail about this because um, Basically, it's a whole different video altogether. But <clears throat> basically, we want to try and get our centre of gravity as low as possible. Now, what's that got to do with free surface effect? Well, just say you had a deck full of fish and they're all up here like that. Just say you've, you've had a good day, it's been a good haul, and your deck's absolutely slowing. Now, if this weather picks up, what's going to happen with that fish is going to be like um, water in a container. Right guys, for example, this is your fish, obviously this is your vessel, and it starts to get choppy. Now you can see what's happening to the fluid. The choppier it gets, the more movement you're going to get, and the further over she'll heal, there's going to be nothing to stop it from going right over. So guys, how do we stop free surface effect? Well, obviously we had our fish. Now what we normally do, if I change a different colour. What you normally do is you put 
boards in in between. And what this will do, instead of the fish going swishy swishy either side, it'll just happen in these compartments and that helps keeps your centre of gravity lower once again. You'll not get as much side to side movement all because you put boards in to stop it. And obviously, you don't want fish as high as that on a vessel, that's just a, a no-no. Everything you do, you must keep down and on the centre. So what's that got to do with diesel tanks, I hear you cry. Well, here's to our next bit. So once again guys, we've got our vessel uh, side view on. Now, obviously I was thinking about having the diesel tank widthways. It should mean the length of it will go across the boat. So we're talking something like that. So obviously what we were just talking about is free surface effect. Now what do you think that would be like? Exactly, it would make the boat very unstable very quickly. I know it's not a huge tank but yeah, again. So, now that we have the boat lengthways, and we put the diesel tank in lengthways this way, she will now not have the roll, because widthwise the diesel tank is smaller than the she is longer. So the diesel tank will be something like that, small square there, big rectangular shape there. So obviously the smallest area here is now the width of the boat. So when the diesel starts slapping about it's not got as far to travel which will stop the boat from rocking as fiercely. I hope that explains exactly what I was meaning it to explain. <laughs> If you don't understand guys, please contact us, leave a comment below and I'll uh, try and word it a wee bit better on text. So in other words guys, we're going from this to this. Right guys, now that we've got the bottom of this actually uh, sanded down and I'm not going to get any fiberglass splinters uh, we can go on ahead and dry fit this diesel tank and then we're going to find out where we need to put the, a bottom drain plug I've decided I'm just going to go ahead with that NAF the MCA my tank and my boat is always paramount Right guys, before we go on to that let's have a quick look at the tank and I'll show you about the baffles Now this is a VS tank, 170 litres um, it's obviously well made, I mean Vias, it's, it's a good name, it speaks for itself and it's a, a car carbon composite uh, tank itself, it's not a plastic tank well it's called a plastic tank but uh, it's the stuff that Disney uh, diesel doesn't break down so it should be good for a good few years, <laughs> long enough to my retirement anyway anyway, this wee space here, this is where the baffles, this is a baffle now obviously, now our compartment is from here to here for the free surface effect. 
Now if we make this the lowest point in the boat, the actual effect on the boat is going to be none, or next to none at least. I know she's a little boat, but the further you put the weight down, the better off you, the better your stability is going to be. So that's our, our basic plan. We'll put the tank onto the tray, the tray goes onto the longitudinals, everything gets fiberglassed and everything gets strapped down. She ain't going nowhere. It's nice and low in the boat. Everything should be hunky dory. The only problem I've got is I've got a lot of weight at the front and because of their length, I mean it'll probably be at the same part as where the, you see the fiberglass here. What will happen to the back of the boat? Will she steam her head down? Will she uh, not be as nimble in the water as I thought? Only time will tell when we launch. But if that's the case, I have got spare ballast left over. We can make nuggets up to place on the boat, to level her off, to make her sit her nicer in the water and to keep the weight as low as possible. Right, let's get on with it. So boys and girls, this is what I'm going to put on at the bottom of the diesel tank. Now this is just for getting all your crud out if we ever get diesel bug and all the rest of it out of the tank easily. Um, yes I know I've got a 90 degree but I have limitations with the depth that I want to go. I've no got a Sigmund's 32 Barry. <laughs> so how on earth do we fit this? Well basically we've got to cut a whole grater on the top, um, then we'll work on the bottom We'll fit this and then we're going on to fitting the actual filler cap itself. Now the filler cap is an Arvitas cap, it's 114 millimetres in, in diameter. This is uh, for your filling the diesel into the tank. Uh, your filler for your engine comes out of this hole because we've got to do certain things to adjust it. That's your return valve and that's your breather. Now on this tank in this system I'm actually going to be putting an extra breather at the opposite end because when diesel splashes about it actually gives off gases. Now obviously with a plastic tank gases are bad so you want to do your best to relieve the pressure within the tank and the breathers help you do that. And also we've got an electronic um, fuel sender. This will give us an idea of how, how full our tank is. So yeah. Gucci system bars, all good. Far better than a dipstick that I had on the rock hopper. Used to be an old um, stick with marks on it and you used to dip the tank and that was it. <laughs> Talk about old school. Something's been right, yes! Now guys, what I'm going to have to do is take the tank off and then cut just a bit bigger diameter hole in the tank but on the bottom I need to make it bigger because it has to receive these. It's also a minimum diameter of the widest part so that'll get drilled onto the bottom. Right guys here we go. More than enough eh? I'm just going to get my electric drill. What does Jeremy Clarkson say in Grand Tour? Power and speed!
Right boys and girls, before I actually fit this permanently, what we're going to do is we're going to put a fibre washer on the back of it, then we'll put it inside, then another fibre washer to get a sandwich effect, and then we'll actually do up our, our lovely little uh, washer and bolt. I think actually what I'll do is I'll put a bit of um, sealant on the back of this nut, because once it's on, I don't want it coming off. The reason I'm not putting a rubber nitrate o-ring on the back of it is because diesel will break that down over time and uh, basically you'll start getting leaks at the bottom of your tank, which you don't want. So here we go guys, first problem, we can't get that screwed underneath so we're going to have to take this handle off, uh, get it all screwed up and then put everything back together. Thank God for dry fits. I think the biggest problem is the ventilation pipes but uh, that's, that's another video altogether. <laughs> Come up with a new idea. Um, that isn't going to work. So a wee bit of fiddling about, and we'll get something sorted. So guys, what was the problem there? Well, we couldn't get this uh, attached in this form. It was all higgledy piggledy. So what I've come up with, a brainwave, is down here. Obviously, we've got our hole. But all we're going to do is just cut the channel out. That way. We can fit this up out here than now, fit it all properly, and then when we come to fit the tank, it's just a matter of slipping the tank in that way. It should be good to go. Well, that's the theory. Let's see if we can manage it, eh?
see that darn handle. And there we go ladies and gentlemen, that's another reason why we drive fit. Gap's no big enough, I need to make it bigger. There. So boys and girls, I think I'm going to call it a day at that, that was quite a day, obviously things didn't go according to plan as per usual, uh, but that's boat building, goodness gracious, I think we're getting an idea now that every job that you think you can tackle and it's going to be XYZ, it's not quite XYZ, it's usually ABC. <laughs> so, if you liked this video, smash that like button. Please subscribe to our channels because that's really important in YouTube land. Please subscribe guys, especially that 66% of you that watches my video but didn't actually subscribe to me. Come on guys, come on, give me, give me a wee hand here. Let me help you. That would be a better idea by you helping me. That's, that's great. And tick that notification bell and that will give you an idea of when our videos next out, which will be next week now that we're back in that routine. So my friends, thank you very much for watching. All the very best now. So now we have the boat let did I just move that? Oh dear. Right. Right, now we've got oh, wait a minute. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> so before that oh here we go with the bloody dug. Frickin' hell. Oh, so I'll need to make that the other way around because that's not going to work going up the way. <laughs> Give us a second. I think. <laughs> right, I think that's the best way to do it. Right, let's get on mate.